this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be making a Christmas ham. Now, I know you've been watching us and a lot of times we do things in the microwave. Well, this is one of those things where it doesn't save you any time to do it in the microwave. <laughs> no, it takes, it's, eight to, it's uh, 8 to 12 minutes a pound in the microwave, 8 to 12 minutes a pound in the oven. So why would you use a stove versus a microwave? Um, well, for example, if your stove or microwave is already occupied by something else that's cooking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because well, we've got more cooking than this that we're mm -hmm. doing. So it's just, this is one of these things where you may see on this segment, the burners being used on the stove beside the microwave <laughs> and the oven. Because, well, no, this is, this is basically um, the, the day before Christmas. Yeah. So this stuff has to be, she's got, Mother Spring Chick is going home for the holidays and she's taking stuff with her. Mm -hmm. So we're getting it ready to take with her. So a lot of these things, for example, if we show you how to do it in the oven, you can also do the same exact things in the microwave, you're just doing the microwave. All you have to do is, um, if you, this is where a case, where if you don't have a turntable on your oven, in, in your microwave, you're better off because the weight of this ham may or may not be too much for a turntable. Or if you have the modern microwaves, some of the better ones allow you to turn the mic turn the turntable off because the weight of the ham. This is a 12 pound ham. This is a great. This yeah, got this off is, a big fire. It's not ham. exactly even throughout. Now, yeah. of course, you're, you're thinking, well, you guys did a turkey in the microwave. We we put a turkey in, but it was inside a bag. This mm -hmm. isn't. This has got to be inside. Uh, this has to be because the, the we're, we're glazing this. Yeah. And that's the difference. The glaze has to fall off on something, which means we need a tray to put it on. So part of it, is, the first part is to get, of course, the ham from wherever you're getting it. We chose this kind of ham right here because, actually, I'll show you the shape of it. If you yeah. look at the shape of this ham, imagine sandwiches. Lots yeah. oh, of... <laughs> lots of, this is, we picked this one. This one, we actually went to the store yesterday and did buy specifically. And we looked at a, a lot of hams. Generally, we'd want hams that had, this is a spiral hocks. cut ham. Them and we wanted one to hock because the hock gives you the center bone and the hock to make beans off of. But we were thinking, say ham sandwiches. Mm -hmm. Since, and the spiral cuts don't cost a whole lot more than, okay, if you, get, you can buy a spiral cut on sale if you're buying a $25 worth of extra stuff for mm -hmm. Christmas. At, at about 20 cents a pound more than the regular ham. No, so, 20, 20 cents a pound less. Or 12, yeah. yeah, so. So part of it is when you're doing this, you're thinking, well, the ham's already cooked. Why do I need to cook it? Because, well, yeah, it says that ham should, uh, even the slices should be warmed up to 140 degrees before you serve them. Yeah, so unless you're keeping this in the refrigerator, you're just slicing it as you need it and warming it up, then you still need to go ahead and warm it up. Yeah, it, okay. it, yeah ten to, uh, 8 to 12 minutes per pound, depending upon, like right now we have weather conditions that suck. I know. And atmospheric, well, atmospheric pressure does change the cooking time. So what they have in here is a ham glaze mix. We're changing it just a little bit because, of course, we can't resist changing it. But also, you know, if somebody else has the same one, then yours tastes a little bit different. Of course, we always, well, gives us an opportunity to use some of these things we already have in the house. Yeah. <laughs> That's the other It's point. called, no, we are a green show. We use... The ham is the uh, the ham and the cloves are the only things that were specifically bought for this. The cloves were bought because we couldn't find them any other time of the year. Well, you know what else is? I got these cranberries right around Thanksgiving, and they are still good. Yeah. But I figured I probably should use them. That's it. We're doing a lot of cranberry stuff right now, so but they do taste really good. You know, and I figured I could dry them out and make craisins. Yeah. Mm. Which you'll get to see because we do have a dryer also, folks. Yeah. So what we did right here is we cleaned the cranberries and then we add, added these clementines which are really popular right now. And then we also have a few cloves in here. So we're just going to go ahead and grind this up and, or blend it up, strain it, and then go ahead and mix it with ham. Yeah. Mix. Got to be, mm -hmm. that, that, that takes the place of the water or, or that cute little alcoholic type stuff you might be using. <laughs> oh yeah, like you would do that? Yeah, we would use, uh, we would use rum. It, that's got to be liquefied, so. Mm -hmm. What you're looking at, folks, is our holiday show.
this is probably going to be that push that 15 minutes time that we've got to push. Oh, yeah, we'll see. Um, and you're probably wondering, why in the world am I doing it back there, and don't I have a plug up here? Well, well no, actually we don't, which is weird. You have to use an extension cord. Because what, okay, I can tell you, I read... Oh, well, actually, this is real nice. Yeah, I, 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 I redid, when I redid the, the, the room, basically what happened was we, we were short one plug in so that the fan up above has a separate switch. So I know, it, I, not, I thought that would be really good. This is more like relish, which actually, you can do cranberries and, yes, you can make cranberry relish this way too. Yeah, it, it didn't quite liquefy as much as we wanted, but. No, but I kept blending it. Should I liquefy it some more? No, we just said, we'll just glaze it this like that. Good. I don't think we got to worry about straining it now. I don't think so. We were going to if it was really liquefied, but. Yeah, so we'll just simply use, the, <laughs> put the glaze in the. Mix it all in the container. Oh, actually, I should put it in another container. But why are you using so many containers? Well, because well, the problem is, apparently you're seeing it change while we're this doing This problem is, is that you got to get to see this being all these containers are going. Everything you see that this is not, um, this is not a delicate cooking show today. This is a Christmas cooking show where everything is being tossed out today. I mean, you know, we're, we're going to cook it, use it, or get rid of it. Yeah. So, well, we got a refrigerator. We got to clean out to put the ham stuff back in. Okay, so this is really good. Okay, blend the ham glaze with three tablespoons of water in a small saucepan. Oh, so yeah. So no, just put it in. Oh, just put no, it in the, the water that's substituted for the water. Yeah, and then we'll just put it in the microwave. Let the microwave okay. and let it come to a boil. Oh, and then you know, let's see. To prepare a microwave oven. Oh, just for the oven. Just say microwave. Yes. Yeah, oh, prepare the microwave. Combine glaze and water. Yeah. In a quart and a half, half bowl. Well, well, just put it all okay. in. Microwave on high about one minute. Just pour it all in there. Oh, it's place to boil. Just pour okay. it all in. So, so I know this is not a. This is not. This is not one of our. This, this is. We got to get the work done before she leaves job. So. I know. And part of it, as you can see, I'm being real graceful. Actually, I usually cut with the not the scissors. Because yeah. I found that if I don't use the scissors, that sometimes it ends up all over the place. Yeah. And, um, oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be a different sort of glaze. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I think we got a brush somewhere in there. We do have a brush. Oh, I could have taken it all out before now. Well, I forgot. Okay. Um, I'm, oh, oh, see, I'm, then we'll just do I'll it the pause old. Pause it for a minute. What we had, we have cranberries, we have the oranges. It says you, you know, you can use cranberry juice or orange juice, so we just use the whole things. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. We'll probably go do this. I know what we'll do. We'll go mix something with our container and make some drinks out of what's left in the, in the food processor. What? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know what you. Smoothies. Yeah, so. Or something else. Okay, so anyway. Isn't that easy? So you glaze it, pop it in the oven. And just go away and let them, you, go, you watch it, get them back every so bring often. Bring it out, glaze it some more. Because we set the oven at 425 because it's uncovered. But I wanted it uncovered because we want the glaze to. Oh, yeah, and it's that glaze and the brown sugar that gives it that, like, kind of coated. Oh, you want it to be crunchy. a little bit brownish on the top. Almost. You know, if the, I had. We do, but we'll wait until it, okay. we got the injectables. Okay, if you have injector. injectables, right, then we would inject. Oh, this is not real liquidy. Right? No, but this will go into the folds as it starts to fall apart in about an hour. Yeah. So that's the first part. Now we, we we're going to go dart the next piece of... <laughs> so what, you know, okay, so you're wondering what I'm doing now. We're making a we're making a nog for Christmas. See, part of it is we're cleaning this out. Yeah, you could just get water and dump. Well, the I know out. what else we need to put but, in it. What, 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 what? Your pirate juice. Yeah, your bottle of white rice and stuff. Oh. Ooh, with the eggnog. Why Russian go with eggnog? Yeah. Okay. We're, people are gonna go. What in the world are you we're, doing? We're creating, folks. This is a Christmas drink from things that were on hand. Okay. The so part of it is, is we still have the cranberry relish slash mandarin clementine oranges. We also have eggnog here. This is from TGI Fridays, a white Russian. Yeah, and we're gonna put all this in here. Yeah, well, actually, you put in a a, a little bit. 
and then we'll put in some white Russian. And then we'll, we're going to basically blend it, and then we're going to heat it in the oven and take it out and put it in our glasses. <laughs> So, oh, I want to put a little bit too much in there. Yeah, that, that so. Vodka. We'll put a little bit more egg on A little bit there. more nog. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I know. You we're want to clean this container out. Yeah, well, it's a good way. To, we're, we're cleaning it out. We're, we're, we're forced as the, they say, we're forced to do that. We didn't want to. So we're just going to go ahead and put, put it in some glasses, hot it, and we're going, this has got to be really good stuff. I mean, I mean really should, good stuff. We're going to put in the big one because it says it's all in. All in, yeah. <laughs> and because she wants it, so, you know. No, oh, we actually have too much for this. Well, we'll just make up some more. So, you know, we'll just make certain you, now you just put it in and heat it up. And, yeah, you notice, folks, that she made one just for herself. Imagine it only fits in one. That's her well, white. Does, that's it does her, say it's all in. Yeah, but that is her white Russian. Um, but part of it, and they're going, what? I thought you said she didn't drink. That's right. It's because. I know. She doesn't drink, except for that bottle. Then that bottle is how many years old? I think it's um, like six years old. Yeah. <laughs> So, so in six years, you're like, oh, but she doesn't drink. Okay, in six years, I've had this much. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it's very, it's, it's, a, it's not really alcoholic type stuff. It's, it's that low-grade alcohol that you can, you know, that a lot of people you use. flavor drinks? Yeah, it's a flavor thing is what it's it like is. It's like when it gets hot, then you put, or actually when it's cold outside, then you put a little bit in your hot chocolate. Yeah, it's just made for flavoring. It's just that she had the opportunity. We actually saw this one bottle sitting on a shelf years ago, and she just did was calling to her, so. <laughs> but it only comes out, it, it only comes out on occasions like this. So, and, and she was so graciously made it all for herself. <laughs> um, well, you know, the there's, nog, more, the whole there's thing. more that has to be cleaned out. Yeah, well, no, it won't work now, so. <laughs> they, they, I mean, she said, okay, so this they is, noticed. This is our Chris. This is actually you'll see this show on the twenty fourth, not Christmas Day. Yeah, because you want to look at it. Because you want to look at it to see what we're doing. Because you can do the same foolishness on Christmas Day too with your family there, and look like you're smarter than we are. As they say, it takes no effort. And I've, I've heard that said about me that it takes no effort whatsoever to be smarter than me. Of course, I do. My intellectual thing says I like about two hundred and twenty six. I think it says on the Mensa scale so. Yeah. So the trick is to make it look simple. Yeah, it, you could, we make it look. We, we have fun doing it, and we we're, we're telling people we've been trying to figure out what to do long form for YouTube because YouTube is giving us the permission to do long form. So we're doing a long form 3D today. Yeah. <laughs> God, it take me all night long on a computer to process the thing. So it's probably going to take four hours to get it loaded. Mm. But one of the one of I think. Uh, one of the sites is going to have a very long piece on it tonight. Oh yeah, you got to edit the sound. Uh, not much. I never edit my. I don't edit the cooking things. Oh yeah, like when I'm looking for things. I never edit those things because people yeah. like that side of you for some yeah. reason. They like it when I'm looking for things, and it's not so. They they like that side. Oh look at the. Oh. You know, and see, I'm stirring it with this. That, You're going, what? There's stuff in there. I think I made it put it in there a little. <laughs> no, you just let it cool down for a few minutes and we'll go to the next piece. But that's good oh. that it boy it. That, I mean, that really, I mean, I can see it from the, from the director's position and that really looks good. So, <laughs> so we shall go to the next piece. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not going to be drinkable for a little while. This is while. actually from the World Series of Poker. <laughs> yeah, all oh, in. We, we got that when we were in Las Vegas covering it, so there we okay. go. We, we, we actually have been sampling it, and it, it, it's, it's good, folks. Actually, I mean, really it's good. It's really good. It's like we were just playing and having fun, and you're like, yeah. We are just trying to clean up stuff in the refrigerator, and it is, mm. it's got a, the foam really is something. <laughs> so what did we use in this? Okay, so the cranberry, the clementines, and the cloves, yep. which we use for the glaze for the yeah. house. 
And so we were cleaning out the leftovers, which was in there. So there's not that much of it actually in there. But what we've got is mango nectar, because this is what was in the refrigerator. Eggnog. Because it was in the refrigerator. <laughs> and white Russian. Because it was in the refrigerator. <laughs> you too can go to your refrigerator and make something like this. I, this, I recommend this one because it this is, is really good. Real, I mean, it is a warm drink that... Well, it's cold as heck outside, folks. Well, and part of it, you're going, well, what? I don't have all those ingredients. Well, okay, use what you have. Like, we just happen to have mango, right? So use orange juice if you okay. have it, or cranberry juice or whatever. I mean, part of it is just to give your eggnog a little bit of a twist. Yeah, but what we try to tell people is we generally don't go buy stuff to cook with. This, everything you see there, except the clothes, has been sitting there for a while in the refrigerator. And it's got to be gotten rid of so we can put the stuff in we're cooking. I mean, she, you so, know. What, so part of it is kind of knowing what flavors go together. Yeah. Now I have to admit, I wasn't quite sure about this mango. <laughs> I was making a wild guess because I've tasted mango before. Well, I like mango. I wasn't yeah. quite sure about it with eggnog. I, I, okay. The, if you don't hot it, the eggnog will coagulate on you. You mm. can't drink it cold. This has got to be a warm drink. I would think any any juice that you really any type of citric juice or something like that. I don't think lemon would work, but I think orange and maybe grapefruit and um, uh, and other juices. Maybe pear, well, apple. Oh, we do have pears here. Part of it is with eggnog. It's holidays, and so you associate cranberries and clementines with the holidays. So yeah. in that kind of manner, they all kind of go together. Yeah. And there are people that would say everything goes with liquor. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I know, I know. Candy is dandy. Lead to is quicker. Yeah. So, but this is really good. You gotta have to try it. It's really good that I have this one big mug. Yeah, it's all hers. But we did sample. We were graciously oh. allowed to sample the foam. Actually, I'll be nice enough because see, part of it is, is this is how you would know is if I drank all of that or even half of that, I'm gonna be like. Totally drunk. Oh, that could be for an interesting rest of the show. So part of it is, is I'm going to have to share this one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Which you will see. Okay. Know. Are we making peanut butter brittle? We're making a uh, munching peanut brittle. What? Peanut butter brittle? Pre peanut, peanut, brittle. Peanut, peanut, peanut brittle. I'm okay. old. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm old enough. <laughs> It's basically a microwave time eight to eleven minutes. As people will see from the first part, we we were on the micro we were on the microwave, we were on the microwave, and we're on the microwave now, so so no, but just we, we're basically back to microwaving because the stove is now occupied. The oven is occupied. Oh, that's part of it. Oh, so actually, should we tell them? <laughs> yeah, we've been uh, telling them what we're doing. Oh, we have been. What, you, no, you this have is this you? part. This is all one great big show today. Oh, okay. Hello, this is not a spring chicken today. We're making peanut brittle. <laughs> she wants to. She thinks you forgot from about two minutes ago. So I know. Well, you know, part of it is is something like this. Usually you just buy it and you enjoy it and all of that. But did you know you could make it in the microwave? Yeah. It's actually relatively easy. We've done it. We've, oh, God, we've done it. Yeah. Yeah. And as you can tell, this is our holiday edition. Holiday edition. She's dressed. Her, her, she can't wear her holiday bikini because we have it. Uh, it's it's basically. I can, but it's awfully itchy. It itches because we have that. We have we basically constructed it with. Um, with basically it's the wire, wire stuff. metallic wire ones that's fuzzy, which is really kind of fun. But it looks good, move, but you can't wear really it to cook in, so. <laughs> so, first thing is, we've got sugar Yep. and corn syrup. Does it make a difference at what yeah. order? Uh, no, I'm going to put a half a cup of sugar in and pour the corn syrup on top. Half a cup of sugar? Yep. Okay, so. And as you see, this stuff is coming out of our storage area. Half a cup of sugar. And then, uh, one cup of sugar I'm at. It just that, just use a second half cup. I'm getting, I'm getting old. Well, it's not difficult. I'm setting the camera and it's setting one place. I'm standing another. Sugar. And, the third. and then one half cup white corn syrup. Half cup white 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 corn syrup. Yeah. White corn syrup. It basically well that was a half cup deal you had before. Why yeah. not? Then just put it in I there. Put it in there. We well, just used it. One. And then we'll just simply, you know. Maybe make a double batch of. I wouldn't. 
because then I have to readjust the time for the, I will make it we'll make two batches in a row if we have to. See but that's the danger if you try and adjust it. Okay, so I don't, pour this inside? Yeah, we'll pour it inside and then um, basically go put it uh, stir it together and then put it in the microwave. Stir it with a wooden thing. Don't ever use the plastic things when you're messing with peanut butter, peanut brittle or peanut butter fudge. Why? Because it can turn into like flat and then basically you're using like a sledgehammer to get it off the plastic. Oh. Yeah. It's easier to get it off of this. Yeah. Well, because what we'll do is we'll go, well, this is done. We'll go put this in some... We'll probably end up cleaning some of the stove off and getting some boiling water over there to put utensils in. Yeah. Probably. Because this is actually relatively simple to do. Once you've seen this, it's... Once you've seen this, you can make it yourself. Yeah. And, you know, part of it is... I think most households have sugar. all of this stuff. They usually do, and we're using peanuts because we're making peanut brittle. But you could probably make it with almonds. You can make it with any type of nut. You can make it with uh, Pfeiffer nuts, which are hazelnuts, or as they call them, Pfeiffer nuts. Mm -hmm. uh, but they could basically you could use uh, Brazil nuts or macadamia. Yeah, nuts. any of that. You know, our slivers, just whatever you got. It's just a nut thing. And okay, so after we mix this, then you go put it in. Um, we're going to go put it in the oven on high for four minutes. But I think what well, two minutes we'll look at it because I think the last time we did it, we... So... We're actually needing to scrape it off. I know, I'm going to scrape it off and... So... Which you do have to do with these. Yeah, as I said, I thought we'd probably just get something, an extra burner going in a few minutes and basically put... Because we want to get, we want to keep these utensils clean because if it hardens on this stuff, it's not good. Okay, four minutes? Four minutes on high. Actually, let's put it on two minutes on high to start with. Since I know she never... Well, because I always forget to check, which is why I usually do it on part. Like yeah, it's... let's clean up some space and then we'll... Uh, you know, so you can tell this show is done. When it's done, it is done very live. So, and then we just go get a container, uh, any, you know, a, a saucepan or something, or something deep enough that we can just keep the water because in a restaurant when they're cooking out yeah, they have hot water they have uh, tons of hot water available continually and that's what they're putting all their instruments in yeah so basically it's this is uh, a little low one it'll work though you no know, it's just a means to put something in there to, to it's anything that we can use to keep the to keep the instrument stuck on so yeah because this is something that you actually could have uh, just microwave the water and then put yeah. it on there but you know part of it is when you're using the microwave it's dedicated. Yeah, what this is... And you got four burgers. This is a Christmas meal. At Christmas, it, people that cook for Christmas all know this. You've got everything, mm -hmm. everything in the house is in operation for your Christmas meal. That's right. And you can't do one thing after another in the microwave. You're timing, you know, yeah. the burgers, the oven. The because right now, our, our ham that we started earlier in this segment is starting to come apart. So very shortly, we'll be putting more um, glaze on the ham that's coming apart. So. Mm -hmm. So, the... Okay, so we are almost done on this one. Yep, so turn it. Yeah, as people see where we are going to go stir it at two minutes because she she does have a fixation about um, not, you know, watching the timer. What? <laughs> and, and honestly, I got two separate cookbooks I'm looking at at the same time. <coughs> so then we put it in for another two minutes after it's stirred, so... Okay, here we go. And then we'll put... That goes in the hot water. That goes in the hot water? Yeah. Back in yeah. Oh, I was going to scrape this into the thing. Okay. No, put it in the hot water. I don't want it to solidify on it. Should I put this in the hot water too? That one, basically, you can just run water in that one and we can clean that one out. Okay, okay. Well, because I want our, inst our instruments, so the, the chiral syrup, once it's got warm, it will solidify on stuff like a oh, rock. Really? Yeah. You know, oh, because everything in here was cold. It was warm on this. Yeah. That was warm. Once you put it into the microwave, you started the uh, hardening process. So, so do we? Oh, I know what else we need: peanut butter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. I'm that's like, the, well, wait, we got the carrot syrup. Yeah, and it's always best if you know you're going to have um, you're going to be making peanut butter fudge. When the peanut butter is on sale, buy the, that's what we did. We bought like 10 containers of peanut butter. They were a buck a piece. Mm -hmm. And we put them to a lot of use. How much peanut butter do we need? Uh, peanut butter. 
Okay, what? Let's see, peanut butter. Let me see. Now you could choose chunky or you could choose creamy, but we decided since we're already adding the peanuts in it, right, for peanut butter brittle, don't make the peanuts consistent and have all creamy. Although I guess you could get chunky and you could have bigger and smaller chunks, which actually could be an interesting, um, could be interesting texture-wise. Yeah, basically, I think we want a half a, uh, we want a half a cup of peanut butter in there and one cup roasted peanut butter, what's all the peanuts? One cup, okay. Yeah, you want a half a cup of peanut butter. So part of it is, this is the same container that I've used the corn syrup Yeah, in. so we just put it in there because it doesn't make any difference, as long as it's really not getting warm. And here, here's the other part is, I've got sugars and stuff like that. Now part of it is... If That's all going to be made for... Um, this thing right now is going for peanut butter fudge and stuff in a few minutes too. Yeah. So. so for us, we're using all the peanut for cooking for baking. So it's all. It's not going to be. Probably doesn't make any difference. Yeah. So I use this. If you're going to be using it for other things, then clean it out. Don't clean the spoon. Then use a different but spoon. But we, yeah. since we're, it's basically got to do the bit like we'll, we'll try the guy for everything. People basically screw up what they're doing by getting rid of all of the stuff that comes off of the cooking. Whereas we tend to use everything that's on the cooking yeah, in one form or another. So now we just get it, make sure you get I don't even think I got, got anything because I was too busy scooping. I don't yeah. even think there's any residue left. So we just... Um, now of course, if you have people that are allergic to peanuts... Then you can't do it. The peanut butter is a lost cause. So, see generally what happens is it's best if you use a crunchy cream of butter, but I think what we had was creamy, didn't we? Mix it, mix it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we got creamy. Just Put it in and then put a, a whole cup of uh, peanuts in there. Actually, we should get our butter out too when it's all hot and stick it in there. Our butter? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even think I need that. a teaspoon of butter. While it's hot, it's got to make it real easy to melt. So. Okay. See, this oh, is... Oh, I wish I would have known I would pull it all out before. Oh, I, for, I, I'm, okay. I, I'm watching. I'm doing, th we're doing three different... Okay, I, we got a ham in the oven. I'm doing the peanut butter fudge on one side and the peanut brittle on the other side. So usually you see us, we'll, we'll do the changes while we're here. Yeah. Okay, one teaspoon. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I got one. Well, this oh, time, okay. this is what basically you're looking at somebody trying to get this stuff done before they go off on the trip. So. Well, see, part of you know, usually when you're busy for the holidays, you're sitting there cooking all of it right because people are coming over and all this stuff. I'm rushing because I'm leaving and I need to have this Yeah, ready. and uh, one cup peanuts. Okay. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, oh my gosh. One cup peanuts. Yeah, this is, but it will, see we're rushing against the deadline because you know, you can basically, like my mother said, you can read, my mother was a, a she was a dessert and pastry. Specialist. Which is why we have all these tips. Yeah, so I, I would sit there and help her do this at home all the time. So, but um, yeah, then we got to put in. Um, this looks really let's see, good. one teaspoon vanilla and one teaspoon baking soda, and now oh, we. Oh, should we have done that before? No, now. They're the last things that go in. Yeah, <laughs> baking soda is said. Baking soda is over there because I saw the can a second ago. I did see the can. You know, okay. this is our good, this is, see, if we go to the cupboard and pick up almost anything out there, because we have, we have it extremely well prepared because we buy this stuff on sale. What? No, if it's on sale, oh. we buy it. I know, that's hard. You're like, you just go to the cupboard, well, it's like, yeah, it's because it's how I shop, and then we just make with what we have. Yeah. Which, actually, I have a feeling there's more and more people that are doing that. But we will cook what's in the cupboard. We won't go buy to cook, which is... The weird thing. We do sometimes. Some well, with some, it, 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 not often, did you? Well, know? where'd the lid go? Oh, it's still there. <laughs> I thought she lost. Yes, it. I too can make messes, and sometimes. Well, she actually she did make one a big, teaspoon. One teaspoon. Okay, vanilla. Oh, I wish I would have known because it would have had all the bread because this is getting cooler. Okay. Well, no, it's got to be hot again, so. Oh, okay, then I'm not. No, you're not. This, no, this is, it doesn't make any difference. It's going to get hot. It's not this stage that I was much worried about is the next one. Because once it goes oh, okay. in. How much? Half? Uh, let's see, one, uh, one teaspoon baking soda. Okay. 
Um, since the other one's all wet from the vanilla, of course, I'm using the smaller one. Yeah. Doing duplicates. Because otherwise, you make a total mess and get all your vanilla in there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. No, we're just. This is because it's all hard right now. Yeah, so. <laughs> no, you just simply uh, stir it up a little bit. Um, it's so stirring. Yeah, okay, warm it up though. Go put it in the oven okay. for. for uh, okay. Yeah, go put it in the see oven why right it's now. It's not stirring. Go put it in the <laughs> oven. You do that. Okay, in the oven it goes for. Go put it in for. Uh, uh, high for about a minute, and then we'll pull it back out and see if we can stir it. <laughs> see, that is the reason why with candy, you do need to have everything kind of set yeah, up. But there's always uh, uh, a way of doing things, which is basically to reheat it. Which is your trick. Yeah, that's the trick, is that you can reheat it. When you're, if you think you're screwed up on fudge because it hasn't made a ball in the water, hot water with sufficient weight, you put it back in and heat it oh, and stir it. Oh, that's what I forgot to do the other day. Yeah, well, you know when that fudge is working right, though. So, <laughs> two, two minute fudge is really good to make, so. Mm. Mm. You know, so we'll get oh, I just looked at it, it was like, oh, yeah, it's the texture. But yeah. I didn't do a ball, uh, put it in the water. It's just, yeah. See how that is. And it's, we just want to get it out long enough to stir after a minute because it's got to go back in again. Okay. That should be able to stir it. Okay, just, we just stir it real quick and then put it back in and for another minute. And okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, that is a cook's trick, folks. Mm -hmm. If you think you screwed up, put it back in and let it warm up a bit more. And now you stir it up and put it back in and heat it again. But see, with this, like I said, it, it is sticking to the sides of that. It's sticking to the. Yeah, I just scrape it all off with the, the off the handle with the knife and put her back in and let her. You see, this is the reason why we're using this kind of dish. Yeah, it was. It's, and we're using a wooden spoon. Because it's hard to get off the 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 other stuff. Well, also, if you're doing the other one, it could they're bent while you're you know okay. when they're heated and. Hey, okay, just smooth this. It didn't, Clean your spoon off, put it in for one more minute, and then get that beggar out. Yeah. Now, and here's then. the thing is, I don't know. It might take more than a minute. Oh, that's right. It was the texture, huh? Yeah. It was kind of like this. And this stuff will start to turn like a rock on you once it's out and cooling. So that was why we, we, okay. we divided up the cooking time. So it's, you know, peanut brittle. Uh, and is what it does is the chiral syrup one basically. Minute. One minute on high. Then we get it out and we put it all on top of your grease pan. So that's it. I would I would put the your your spatula in the hot water right now though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. It, it, and if you're watching, this is like you're at home and your mother's telling you it's you're like, oh yeah. No. Now, and how do I know? Well, because I've, I've in my life screwed up and all of this stuff, but I've learned how to do it. When you have to clean, when you have to chip the stuff out of a thing. So part of it is I'm making the same mistakes or things that you would do. Old Cam knows because he's done it all his lifetime, so he may be doing things that are natural, but he doesn't even think about talking about them. Yeah, no, I just, I could ask me, well, why isn't the old guy out in front of the camera? Well, because the old guy can do it. He's done it. But see, she's now confident enough that she's doing this stuff all on her own, too. She cooked two pounds of, uh, actually she did a couple pounds of uh, block fudge the other day all by herself. Mm -hmm. Because she's learned how to do it from what she'd done. And anybody else can do it. We don't, we try not to do things complicated. Well, she, she changes my recipes on the stuff they're doing them, but I'll get this out, stir it real quick, and then oh, dump that yeah, thing. Oh yeah, you can tell because it's all like... Yeah, it's get your puffy. get your staff bachelor out, stir that beggar, and then dump it. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay, she is ready for you. Now you just put it on your plate and set. How's that? And then you get that thing in the water real quick. I know. <laughs> Take your hot water you've done and just dump it on that thing. So look at that, folks. Oh, doesn't that look beautiful? So, um, 
I know, and this, it's, this is a time sensitive thing. As it starts to, to cool, it's going to be impossible to move. So. I know, I'm trying to get it out of this. Yeah. Just... <sighs> yep. Get it out. And you see, you, this is a time bit. You, you can see from the time I started. Yeah, it's just cooling, so you need to get it out and then spread that thing real quick now. Yeah. See, she, she's done this before, but she didn't want to try this a second time without me. Well, okay, okay. Now I'll just forget that rest like of it that, and get that thing smoothed it. out there. You, got, you saw how, how much more effort it took. Yeah, well, no, in a few seconds. Because it, you can, we can make it rough looking or smooth looking. It's just up to you. So... So <laughs> now you just, I guess you just go off and leave it, folks. I'm going to smash it down first. Well, you can smack it down now if you want. So you then you have up. more volume. Yeah, so she's playing with it now. She's playing with her candy. So <laughs> I know. <laughs> no. You know, there's a second way of doing this now. Take What's your that? hand and just, just, oh, just put your hands and put your that. hand on. Which actually, my hand's bigger than this little spatula. Yeah, thing. put the spatula. Oh, you know, the, the spatula will clean the but that's Ooh, see, it's hot. Pop. Well, yeah, that's part of you have to, to do it like that, and that because, will. Because part of it is, if it wasn't hot, it probably could. It would be too hard for you to do it with. See, mm. you've spatula it all you can. <laughs> now comes the old method of. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know, you want the old guy to come do it. Why would I do that? Yeah. Just play with that okay, it will break through with you. Now is about it, so. Okay. Okay, now it's now you just go set the bloody mm. thing for um, an mm. hour for a half hour to hour. And you then, can spread it further. You can spread it further well then. Mm. Uh, I'll show you. Because you can take more heat than I can. That does get your hands hot when you're doing that, so. Yeah. Well, good. I'm putting your chewing on my mouth, I can tell. But thank for a, look at how much. Isn't that beautiful, folks? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good stuff in my mouth. So, half hour to an hour, we set it. That was a grease pan. Mm -hmm. You saw I sprayed the pan on it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. we'll go to our next thing. Oh, yeah. You can see we're yeah, our, 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 our ham is doing exactly what we thought it would do, which is break down along the folds. And oh, yeah. This thing is almost done. I figure another... It hasn't even been as long as it's supposed to. Well, I know, but it's it's coming apart, so... I know, definitely. Yeah, good, good, good. I mean, we got, we're glazing the, the pieces and... You know. I know, we thought we could stick the clothes in there, but instead we ground the clothes up in here. Yeah, well, I, I, we changed the recipe when we had all the other stuff to use, so. Oh. I know. And for those of you that think that clothes are only $7 a can, yeah. you can find them at times less. Yeah, but try not generally when you want them. <laughs> I know, which is when you're doing all your holiday cooking. Yeah, you have to buy them in advance, but see, uh, my mother, because she was in the restaurant business, would buy the clothes commercially, but she'd buy a big container, and they'd last for a decade. They last a long time, yeah. Well, you don't use clothes for everything unless you're in college and you're putting them in, in oranges, so. I know. Yeah, with vodka stuck in the middle of it. 
You know, she knows all about that stuff. I don't know about stuff like that. But actually, since she grew up in a nunnery, this is what happens to all good little girls that grow up in nunneries. They end up wearing string bikinis. Uh huh. And look at that. So. Oh, this looks so good. Actually, well, just you take, know, part of it is I have this glaze, so I'm like trying to use it. Just pour but it I all over. I can't use it all over. Oh, just, just pour, pour it. it on it. Yeah, like that. And it'll and, soak inside. Yeah. We want it to soak. We've got, it's cooking a little bit faster than what we had thought, but remember it is eight minutes to eight to 12 minutes. So it could, instead of being two hours, it could be an hour and a half. Oh, this, oh. I know, it really. <laughs> but this is called uh, an ungodly beautiful looking piece of stuff. So I think the old guy may have to oh. put it in the oven again. I can put it in there. Well, it just weighs, this, this is Oh, a, is it getting heavier? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's just, well, if I get burnt, nobody loses anything because if they say all the counts are going out. So, because it is hot. He goes back over to his director's position, which is by the computers. Bye, folks. <laughs> there we go. Now we're doing our peanut butter. Fudge. Oh, this one. Yeah, this one. We're, this one doesn't. It's the chiral syrup that causes the quickness to everything. There's no chiral syrup in this one, is it? Not there? in this one, which yeah. means we can go to our big dish. Yeah, and we're using this one right here because we can basically, well, number one is you can see through this. Yeah. And two is I can mix it in here and then put it in the microwave. Yeah. It makes it simple. We can also, it's got measuring points on it, so. Oh, look, something got. I told you it was hot. You know, I, I noticed that when I was getting it out, he was uh, the. Ooh. Let's say this 425 degrees in there, so. Okay, so this is what we have. We are making peanut butter fudge. Yeah, this isn't the first bunch because what we're trying to do is we're staggering things because of the fact that we need the other container we made the peanut brittle in, so. <laughs> and it's hard. Well, you know, that's what happens when you're cooking and there's a lot of things going on at the same time. So this recipe right here, the peanut butter fudge, is also, of course, in the microwave because it's a lot faster than than, it's, than everything else. So okay, we need a one and two thirds cup of sugar. Oh, it's that two thirds cup that is a challenge. Okay, I just use one cup. Oh, no, I found a third of cup because I No, she does. She has to have the things. I just take. I just go two thirds of a cup, and then I've got two thirds of a cup. Oh yeah, I can do that. I actually went to college. You know, see, look at that. She uses two different things to get, oh. and, and, and two-thirds cup evaporated milk. Two-thirds cup. Now, that's two-thirds of the container, right? I would say that's two-thirds of the container, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to, this one is, okay. Yeah. Maybe now, a quarter cup of butter, which it should be marked on the side, I think. I already marked it, believe it or not. Yeah, which is nice because this is cooking butter we have too, folks. Actually, it's cooking margarine. Cooking margarine. I mean, butter margarine. It's basically, margarine is better from butter. But if you find butter, use butter. Mm -hmm. So, and just, um, you know, uh, just put in, just stir it up a little bit. And, and if you're asking, why are we using margarine instead of butter? Well, we'd love to use butter. But butter is too expensive. So we'd like it, to, but you should see how much stuff we're cooking for the holidays. Oh God, we've got four four things of butter, four things of margarine, a half a dozen things of and six boxes, six boxes of confectioner sugar, two containers of cocoa. We've, we've somebody already ate one of our peanuts. We will not mention who it is that got into the peanuts. So we we went to well, our emergency. Well, I don't peanuts. have signs on there that say "Do not touch." You know, it's like so everybody touches. So what we do have, we had an emergency set left, so now we put in, um, let's see, uh, we want one cup of peanut butter now. This is rich, folks. We almost, probably, we almost left it, and I bet. Yeah, we're going to use it almost all. Just use it all. Just dump it in. The whole thing, don't worry about the measure. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, because I think that one cup is just about going to finish that off. Probably. Because we have one more thing, I think, don't we? What? One more peanut butter. No, this is the, our peanut butter. Oh, then don't pour it all in then. <laughs> but we're going to make one more. Uh, okay, no. I need a half a cup left. 
I need one half a cup. Just take the half a cup and give me a half a cup. And then we'll put every... No, that's... I thought I had another peanut butter. Uh-uh. Okay. So, and then just put everything else, scrape out the container and put everything else in that what's left. So I thought there was one more left. Uh-uh. No, put it in the... What? I'm taking the half cup out here. I know. And I just, now, that's there. all right because... I, Is that I, close enough? Yeah, I fudged on the half a cup on the other side anyway. Oh. Because the recipe doesn't call for peanut butter. It's, oh. Yeah, so I, I fudged on the recipe because it is peanut brittle. It, it does, you know that color that you get, you don't get it unless you put the peanut butter in it. Oh, that's true. Which is why I put a half a cup in, so. I know, I, I, I do that fudge. It's just gotta, you're going to have two peanut brittles and one fudge. But. See, and since, as you can tell, I'm learning as we're going along. Yeah. We're going like, you do what? Yeah. Well, I didn't. I thought there was another container. Uh, there might be. Oh, I didn't. So. <laughs> but I haven't seen it. So it got used. Well, I think I took seven containers and she took three. And I'd only seen one open before, so. Well, I'm not the only one that eats in this house. Why? Well, so actually, one one was made peanut brittle. With, you know, that would have been the open one we used to make the peanut brittle and the peanut butter fudge. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but it did. Okay. Now, um, one teaspoon of vanilla. One teaspoon of vanilla? Yep. Okay. And we'll fudge on the, uh, which is what fudge making fudge, we'll fudge on the fudge recipe by putting it in on uh, high heat for about a minute so we can get this stuff stirred better. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and then put your little thing back in your hot water. Okay. If this on high for one minute because it basically takes um, it takes ten to thirteen minutes or until a small ball is reached. But basically ten to thirteen minutes. Yeah. This is pin. This isn't the two minutes stuff. Oh yeah yeah yeah. No, that's for the fudge fudge. The two minutes is this. Because this um, is different. Yeah. Because I was making two minute fudge. Yeah, no, but this is not, this is peanut butter, and peanut butter is different. Because what we're doing is we're adding butter with butter. Oh. Or peanut and also butter. The, the is, peanut butter itself already has a thickness to it. Yeah. Whereas the fudge, we were using powdered. Like powdered, powder, yeah. Cocoa powder. So, so we'll get, uh, well, we'll make up with a coffee fondant. Oh. So that'll make up hey, some. Hey, you have some coffee? Oh. We'll have to Somebody make some, dumped it. No, we'll have to use my... I think I've got a thing of We've coffee. we got coffee here. Yeah, but I got some instant stuff that should work. We Mostly it's just the... Really so, yeah, so... We, we'd have to make a, a pot of coffee up to make coffee fondant, which is weird. Now I just take it, mix it, and then put it back in again on high for... You know... Because I, I, these are recipes that are all being on, done on the fly, so still going to have to go in for another couple of minutes. Just got to get that butter melted. Not high, hot enough yet. Not so. hot enough? Nope. Okay. So we'll go set it for two minutes and take it out and stir it again. Because okay. it actually does take a little bit. You want to make certain everything is mixed up really well. <laughs> so. Oh, no, you didn't help me. Candies. We're doing so many things. This is, this is the, okay, for most of you people that remembered your mom's and your grandmom's cooking at home, this is basically what it is. This is a multi, this is a huge kitchen and a, and a, and a cupboard that's all being used. Mm -hmm. Everything is being used at the moment like you would at a family. This is, we're making a family meal for you right there in front of you. Well, actually, we're making ham and lots of desserts. <laughs> and lots of desserts. No, there'll be stuff to go with the ham, too, so. Now we just go stir that again. Just don't have to take it out. Just actually take it out oh, and stir I'll it. Take this out. Because we do have a, this is basically, we bought this was for the specific reason <laughs> it had a handle on it. Because she tends to get it, you know. My hands are used for hot stuff. Hers, she's a delicate little thing. Oh yeah, look how easy that is. And, and why does she wear a bikini, folks? It's not for the reason you think. It's for the reason the first time we ever did the cooking without a spring chick, we were doing a salute to those television mothers, and she was terrified she was going to spill stuff everywhere. 
Yeah, because they were borrowed clothes. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> so that we used to do all these different things. Yeah. So the next show we. She she got over being a self-conscious about spilling stuff. She didn't have aprons or anything on. Well, and then you have to clean them with the swimsuit. You know, they're used to getting well, wet. Well, but she doesn't make she doesn't spill stuff on her for the most part. You know, we just put it back in. Or when that's when you get your drink out, this has got to go in for. Um, let's see, we've got four minutes. We need to put it in for about eight minutes after this on high. About eight minutes. Yep. But it said, you know, you have to stir this mixture three times during the cooking time. So the next time we stir it, you want me to put it in for eight right now? Yeah, we'll get uh, we'll get it out before it's finished to stir it again. Now here's the question: It's peanut butter fudge. Should we add some peanuts to the peanut butter fudge, or just leave it? It's got it's got nuts in that already, doesn't it? No. Oh no, that's the creamy. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I okay. Uh, I don't know how okay, we... let's put. Uh, okay. While it's still cooking, I turn to get it out and put nuts in it now. I, okay. I forgot this is creamy. Just take a, a handful of nuts and stick in that little beggar. Just dump some on it. Okay, now stir it in. So, I mean, it basically we were making creamy peanut peanut butter fudge, so it's, but she wanted, she likes nuts. So now we have nuts in it. So I it do. Goes. Well, and last time I made it, we didn't add any. Um, I know, but to it. peanut butter fudge is like pure sugar, folks. It is really. Let's good. see now we get the we got our peanut brittle, which now going to get all busted up for you. Okay. So. Do we need to? We can bust it now. You can bust it now if you want. Okay. Or you could use it as a frisbee. Yeah. Or put an icing face on it. Yeah, that's what peanut brittle looks like. Yeah, she's, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I need to wait for a little bit longer. You can wait a little longer. But wait for a little bit. Because it's supposed to, I thought I thought it was like you're supposed to like crack it. Well, you can crack it. Or you but can right now it. it's still kind of gooey. Yeah, but you can do it while it's, it's just like that and then it dries the pieces, so. Okay, let's see. See, like that. You see how it's starting to bust. That's right. Now it's busting up like. Yeah. I like big pieces. <laughs> <laughs> She's making a no, that's enough. Okay, now go, <laughs> go, go set that somewhere else. I'll go take it back and put it Part in. Of it I do like big pieces. Now we got to put that on a, pl a plate mm -hmm. so that we can make the next peanut butter fudge. You know what? Maybe I'll put it in the container to go. Well, yeah, I'll, okay. Yeah. I, I'd let it set out for another half hour before, though, so I put it on a plate. Okay. It's just me. I busted it so you could dry it so the inner pieces could dry it. Oh, is that what it was for? Well, like that. you can put it in that as long as you set it. Or, I'd set it on a plate, though, first. Just let it, you know, now you broke it, now it's going to dry. But it can't, if you don't bust it, it's not going to dry in the, the center parts. Oh. Yeah. You know, you can hear it starting to get thunk from that. I know. Want to listen to it? Yeah. See, that's it's hard, so. Well, maybe make it a little bit smaller. You know, so she could have big pieces. I like the big pieces. She likes things big. So. Okay. Now we just go set that out in the cupboard and oh, right set it there. Because <laughs> we got another plate of that to go. That comes up after the peanut butter fudge. So. As well. Peanut butter brittle, peanut butter fudge, and then just fudge. Then you got fudge and coffee. She's already done two pounds of this stuff, or actually more than two pounds, but she's done two fudge blocks. Well, they did ask me to bring dessert. Mm hmm. Yeah. You know, then, so with that. They didn't realize it. <laughs> okay. What's our time on our fudge down there now? Oh, four minutes and 56 seconds. Okay, well, another minute and we'll stir it again. Because it doesn't hurt stirring this stuff, because sometimes you have to stir it to make it better. So, because the peanuts have basically probably added a couple of more minutes to it. Oh. Okay, is your, get, I know, we're, we just hauled our ham out. Well, actually, ham came out at about uh, 80 minutes, I think. 
But look, oh, she's she's eating already, so. Well, I have to show them what it looks yeah. like, right? Yeah, I have to show them what it looks and like. And it just kind of falls off a little bit, and. Yeah. <laughs> it is a beautiful piece of ham, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I know, with that little seasoning all over it, uh, the glazing, and and the pieces all just falling off. So, that was. That, oh. Ow. I know, see? <laughs> I she got. You know. <laughs> she, that's right, she's playing with her food, and that's what happens when you play with the okay, food. Okay, so you should don't do that. Right? How many times have you seen me do that since you've been filming it? Once, yeah, this, right now. this time because I knew she was playing with it. It was really hot, and I was, well, because I was dipping it in here. Okay. I know she should have known better than to dip it in the sauce. She got she basically she was getting ready to eat something. I knew it because she pulled a piece <laughs> off, and so. Okay, so instead of dumping it in there and splattering, I have to put it over here. <laughs> yeah, you could have put it on a plate, but she. This is what happens. She will. <laughs> She will eat, she, you know, she, how do you look like she does when she eats like she does? Well, that is a real question, isn't it? So. Okay, we'll I know, it is beautiful, I mean. Oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is one of the, the, actually I'll have the camera, turn the camera off and move it forward for a second. There you go. And look at that, folks. It's one of the paint problems with the 3D camera is the 3D camera doesn't have a zoom lens on it. So you either have to move that to the camera or the camera move to it. And the last time we did this, she got to laughing because the camera would pick the whole tripod up and moved it. Isn't that beautiful? You can't, you don't think that is a, that is a picture and a half right there, which is, Ooh. we'll get the camera and go take a picture. So. It's making me hungry looking at it. <laughs> Hello, this is not a spring chicken. As you can see, we are doing cooking for the holidays, but this stuff you can cook even if it's not a holiday because it's simple, quick, easy, and I will tell you that, oh, this is absolutely wonderful because this is something you can make at home really easily. And we are making two-minute fudge. Oh, you know what else I want? Nuts! Uh, and you put, oh, yeah, the oh, other nuts. Nuts! Yep. Yeah, nuts, nuts, we forgot. She's making Rocky Road. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nuts, and then uh, water in here. Okay. This is easy. Because you don't have to cut the nuts up. No. Oh, we need something to put it in. That's, okay, you're going to use that thing. That's your, she's making a, a fudge, a Rocky Road fudge pie. <laughs> and why? Because she can. <laughs> well, we've got the block filled full of peanut butter, right? peanut butter fudge. I know. Most times people make fudge and they make blocks or they put it in a thing and cut it all up. But we're making a fudge pie. Okay. So this one's actually really, really easy. So first thing is? Yeah, one box of confectionery sugar. Okay. That's really tough to get that box. Of course, the box doesn't want to oh, come I out. Open it you got to open it. Hey! Well, that way you're not going to spill any of it. I know. Well, that's, that's what it makes it easy. So if, if you're tempted to save by getting those big ones, no, just get a box. It makes it easy. Yeah. Okay. And now one cup, one half cup cocoa. I mean, she's such a precise little thing. I just, I just did a measurement by just using the lids. <laughs> okay. Okay. One quarter teaspoon of salt. Oh. Yeah. Which is either necessary or not necessary. Well, you know, this is sea salt, so it kind of sticks together, so I just do that. Yeah, okay. so. And, uh. Vanilla? Well, yeah, let's see. One tablespoon vanilla. This is the only one we've actually so far had to use a tablespoon for. Everything else is teaspoons, so. Yep, one tablespoon of vanilla. Now, if you want to flavor it, I guess you could put in something else here besides Oh, you could put maple. Mm. That's your substitute maple, and uh, don't, use the, don't use the cocoa. You substitute maple, and um, so. Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, one half cup butter. 
And part of it is you can just stick the block on there. Yeah, just stick it in and let it just stir it all. I stir it all. I stir the mess together and then put the the block, the, the block of butter in. So because it's gonna all melt in there. Oh. Are we missing something? The, the milk, milk, but the milk would soon will go in. She so she just preliminary stirring it before. It actually, if you get it sort of mixed up a little bit, where it's not all white and brown, it doesn't work better. Yeah. So now we got we're substituting evaporated milk for milk for the simple reason is that we don't want to waste the milk. We well, and we just opened up the evaporated milk for the previous dish. Yeah. So which uh, you uh, saw me, the a few minutes dessert. ago. So. So. Somebody left us a message. Yeah. So no, but um, it's uh, you know our peanut butter is now in the freezer, getting cold, so we can dump the block out of the thing. And she can take it with her. Peanut butter fudge really, really looking good. So I know. So okay, we're just gonna go ahead and dump this. Yeah. In. Yeah. And then then mix it all together and and. Because the nuts are actually going in last, so. Yeah, nuts going last. Now, actually, we'll actually out, I put in nuts after I mix the butter in. Well, you can do actually put the butter in now and let the butter melt. Yeah. Said so the butter will melt by itself in there during the heating process. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't melt, you just uh, you know basically um, you just put some more in. You just put you just let it heat a little longer, so. Well, it does. Yeah. That's and it all. works real well because it is purely just in this. So we'll yeah. go ahead and put this in there. Yep. Okay. We kind of mixed it. And then, actually we're going to stir it after the butter comes out anyway. Yeah, after the butter melts. Yeah. Yeah. Give it a, just so that we don't want to lose any of our stuff on the site. So we'll put that in a container that probably doesn't have anything in it. There's a glass or something. And then you sit there and then use it to restore it or take it off the handle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. People might guess we have been at this for three hours now cooking. Have we? Actually, the the ham, the ham, and all of this. This is you're seeing it. Can you know what what the things you're you're seeing the things that basically we're only doing once. We're doing them multiple times, but you only need to see it once. And you'll see the end results in about another half hour probably. Yep. Okay, so we're just going to. Now you just put it in the, uh, you just sit there and put it in the oven at high and high for two minutes and then bring it out and mix it and put your nuts in it and then pour it in your container. That's it, two minutes. Two minutes. That's why we call it a two minute fudge. And the prep time is always longer, so. But basically, if once it's all set up, you can turn these things out one right after another because you're using the same ingredients. Yeah, and so you just use the same container. Yeah. Actually, which is what I did the other day. I made a couple of batches. Of because you, you're, you're not contaminating anything because it's the very same materials you're using for a second. Mm -hmm. Actually, we're, we're going to more or less use it uh, a second and a third time because the second, what we're going to do next is café fondant. Ooh, coffee, which basically is going to be a god awful expensive stuff. I know, I was talking to them and they're like, wasn't there like coffee fondant? And they're like, oh yeah. It's the same recipe as the fudge. It's really except, similar. Uh, you omit the cocoa and substitute instant coffee granules, which is basically over, we got a bag of instant coffee mm -hmm. over on the other side, so we'll dump the bag in. <laughs> so, that's all. Difference. Oh, you know what I'm going to do on here is, we're going to spray. Ooh. It says to put your you put your chocolate stuff in on the top of the coffee fondants. You know your little sprint, your little fudge sprinkles. That's why I, I, you know basically give me an idea before it sets. Press chocolate shot decors into the top. Ooh, table two tablespoons of milk in this little beggar. You just reminded me because I have two chocolate things I absolutely love. Actually, this one uh, this yeah. is by Hotel Chocolat. It's liquid. Mix, which yeah, I which love. is what we did on the last fondant, I think. And then I just got these bittersweet chocolate shavings from Fresh and Easy. Which she intended to put on top of her fudge in a pie pan. So, <laughs> she's taking her little pie, which may slice it into, into pieces, which I think. Well, you know, part of it, if I put in the lid first, then what'll happen was it'll all melt into the chocolate. Yeah. Fudge. Oh, and when I flip it out, it'll be on the bottom of the top of it. And that's right. So look at those shavings. You have to do it after. No, actually, 
Uh, and, no, just break, just dump it all, put it in the thing, and then put it on the top. So you got to take the you got to take in the pie plate with you. Taking that pie plate. Then just break it on the top, so don't worry about it. When you cut it, we just cut it with a. Oh, we, let's do we this actually have a plastic knife to do this with, folks. So this yeah. right here. Don't use a metal knife or something on these state on these things that basically are uh, rubberized or or silicone or silicon because it destroys it now. You're just going to mix it all up, which I see the butter still there, so... Oh, it'll mix though. And then you put your, uh, when it's all done, she's going to put her oh, her nuts in there. Cup of nuts. This one, we're going to make it a little bit more decadent. We're going to put in whole almonds. Ooh, boy, she's really getting carried away. Well, the other day I cut I cut the almonds. I'm like, what are you doing? Put the whole almonds. almonds in. If we had Pfeiffer Noose, we'd put the Pfeiffer Noose. I love Pfeiffer Noose. People don't know what Pfeiffer Noose is. Pfeiffer Noose is, he is hazelnuts. The proper name, the proper German name is Pfeiffer Noose. Yeah, this is a, a real nice consistency. Yeah, because you ever heard the old saying, Fibbers uh, eat Pfeiffer Noose? Oh, yeah, I think I've heard that one before. Yeah. Oh, this looks really My little one hated to it, I tell her that. Look, look how nice <laughs> yeah. that looks. Yeah. So we're gonna put in a cup of almonds. See this one, this actually, you, on this one, you really don't, you can't screw up because if you have a problem with it, you can always reheat it yeah. and thicken it up more. Okay, so we got one cup, of, half a cup. The ultimate thing on fudges and stuff like this, you can reheat them before you, before you, know, you Isn't that the best part about it? Yeah, most people don't realize that it's not as, hard to do you know if it starts to set on you too quick you can reheat it well you know part of it is is this is so easy to make that i'm just thinking why would i ever go buy it well it, <laughs> it's always because you're somewhere and it looks good and you it just smells good and well they look at all the stuff that you have to have there to do it but this is the third batch of this well it is, actually doesn't cost that much now okay actually we're putting the shavings on the bottom and then putting this on top we're putting the shavings on top we're putting it, we're going to sprinkle it on the top, weren't we? Because you've got to yeah. take it as it is. So when they cut it. Unless they cut it and flip it out. Well, then if, you want, if they're going to cut sense. it and flip, if they're going to flip it out, then we want the sprinkles on the bottom. I know, well, you put it on the top or bottom. Well, then you can't so, make a mistake. So then whatever I decide to do. Yeah, then she's covered herself, so. You know, so. You know, she likes these little chocolates. Right? So. <laughs> you you think it was well, gonna melt with this stuff on it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. But it'll give it a little bit of a different flavor. Yeah, just keep stirring it. Yeah, you know? just stir it until it's smooth. It's very, very smooth. Yeah. And you don't really use these. These things aren't really meant to be done with uh, equipment. It's meant to be done by hand. Yeah. Look at that. So. Look at this. I just scrape it all off and. This is magnificent. Oh, yes. Then you go, this goes in the refrigerator or the uh, refri or freezer. It doesn't take that long. It's, it? um, um, let's see, one hour in the refrigerator, 20 to 30 minutes in the freezer. It's actually where it's going to go, wherever we have the most room to put it. I know. What I did before I left is I put it in containers and it basically was a block of fudge. Yeah. So. That's yeah, see, that's all there is to it now. She's gonna put her sprinkles more on the top because she hasn't this it's it's a girl thing. She hasn't decided the chef hasn't decided which side is up. So if you don't know which side is up, you use both sides. Yeah, that's which people think, boy, how did you know that you were going to do that? Because they covered their little behinds. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. And you can also add more nuts in, at this point if you want to. Yeah. You're kind of spreading the nuts around so they're all not in one area. <laughs> okay, so this one, of course, we're gonna we're gonna cover ourselves both ways. Oh, that is gonna be good. And then, <laughs> whatever direction it ends up, some, one direction or the other is gonna really have lots of stuff on it. It's the same thing as your mother or grandmother putting sprinkles on top of the stuff. Yeah. This right there will cost you ten bucks in a gourmet place to order something like that. Oh, uh, well, you know, part of it is the ingredients, 
Like the fresh and easy, that one's actually really reasonable. But this one, Hotel Chocolat, yep. is I like read the information on this. They have their own cocoa bean farms. Yeah. And there's caramel in here and other things. This this is expensive, very yeah. expensive chocolate. There's little but, white chocolate hearts in here. Yeah. <laughs> but on this dish alone, they will not charge you by the pound. They'll charge you by the, the size, size of the thing. Because it is very, this is a very expensive dish because I know because my mother would order something like this for Christmas for me every year. Oh, would she? <laughs> because, well, they would be, we'd have a maple, we'd have a fudge, we'd have a peanut butter fudge, and we'd cut slices out. Your man and the other children, well, you can't have any of mine. Oh, no, this, that one, this one looks really, really good. Yeah. This is the special one. <laughs> I don't think you can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Hello, this is not a spring chicken. Right now, we've been making cooking all day long. Actually, a lot of desserts. We did a ham and peanut butter, uh, peanut brittle, peanut butter fudge, fudge, more fudge. <laughs> we did two peanut brittles. Oh, and two peanut brittles. And now we are making coffee fondant. Now, this is actually very similar to the two minute fudge recipe. Except you leave the, the cocoa out. Yes. That's the only difference. I know. Can, can it be that easy? Well, yeah. actually, we put, we, we substitute. Um, instant coffee. Okay, so you're using a lot of similar ingredients, such as one box confectioner sugar, right? Yes, we should be able to open it this time. Okay. You can't tell a college student that they don't know how to learn, you know, so this is the fifth box. I know. <laughs> There's a reason why we bought them all in boxes. Yeah. Well, then you don't have to measure them all out. It's one you know, box. Instead of getting the big size, and not one box. It says one box. <laughs> that means okay. Like, yeah. Next. No, next we've all. Uh, next we've got, got our uh, what we've got our teaspoon of salt, our quarter cup of milk, and the uh, teaspoon of vanilla extract off. So. Okay. So here's the milk right here. Quarter cup. We already pre measured it. You saw the salt, and how much vanilla? Uh, one tablespoon of vanilla again. Okay. So. Just mix back with the liquids, yeah, makes and then we'll mix in the um, the coffee crystals with it. Okay, the coffee crystals. Yeah. Mix in it here? in, mix it right in with that. Yeah, they had asked for instant coffee. Yeah. What, what is what's the actual? It thing basically it wants uh, one tablespoon of instant coffee granules. Uh, so we're using we're using a pack, which a pack. is not much more. And so we chose one of the ones based on what flavoring, because they do have lots of flavored coffees. Yeah, this is hazelnut, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Which we've been talking about. <laughs> Another so name for hazelnut is is, uh, yeah, is fiber fiber, fiber nuts. Oh, you know, maybe do have um, chestnuts. Chestnuts. Hey. Yeah, I know. We just did use regular nut nuts. Okay. So. Oh yes. Chestnuts okay. are softer and more of a, more of a taste. That's so. true. They are. So we just put, we're just going to go ahead and pour this in right now. Yeah. And basically you've seen your and then you would put the butter in after you mix this stuff in, so mm. which is once again your entire um, you know, one one let's see, what is it? What is the butter? One yeah, one half cup, which is a quarter pound of butter, which is one whole butter. We got a lot of butter. Actually mm -hmm. a lot of margarine. Well we've used a lot so far. You know, and we you know I bought all that. Something moved. I, uh, I know. I don't know. Something knocked stuff off over here. So, oh, that's kind of strange. The old guy gets underneath, and I have no idea why it went jumping. Okay. It jumped off and knocked stuff in the floor. So I have like three boxes of butter. I forgot that if I had six things of confectioner sugar, I don't need three things of butter. But no, you, you, know, <laughs> you can always use it. Well, no, but they'll get used because it'll be more. Oh, more so anyway, I can put this in here. Yeah, put it, put the liquid in, and then, yeah, just, and then put two more tablespoons. Put uh, two table. Uh, see, put two tablespoons of milk in that now. In here. Yeah, in there it's worth all around. Okay. See. Or just how about a splash? Yeah. Okay. See, now you just squish it all around. You get it all out. So. Look at that, see? Because we're getting the vanilla out. And, and, and as people can see, you know, there's not a huge mess, even though <laughs> we should have a mess. It's got, we've got Christmas elves cleaning us. This is being done. 
And to be honest, this has been done today between 1 o'clock and 4, 4.20 in the afternoon. So this is well, this is as close to real time as you're going to get. Actually, that's true. Yeah, and you got your butter in already? And part of it, you're thinking, well, what do I need? If I'm going to make all this stuff, okay, you need confection box, confectioner sugar. Yep. So you need one box for however many things you're doing. Each, such box, as, each thing you're doing needs a, di a thing. You also need regular sugar. You need five-pound container of regular sugar. Yeah. A box of confectionery sugar for everything that you, every all every, the fudges. All the fudges. A container of chiral syrup for uh, for and the peanut brittle. Brain, peanut brittle and uh, nuts, a variety you know, of nuts. And peanut butter, if you're making the peanut brittle. Yeah, you got to need peanut, peanut butter. Fudge. Yeah. So you really can't do the peanut brittle with a peanut butter fudge without peanut butter. And whatever nuts you're using in the fudge. Yeah. Okay. So I mix that in. I'm going to just basically put this in here. Yeah. Which we're still going to figure out. We're going to set this thing in in two minutes. Oh, yeah. I did kind of figure it out. Yeah. Okay. So, so here. Two minutes. And this is really good awful tasting, folks. I mean, it is just... We, we did it as an experiment, uh, you know, a few months ago. Oh, you know what we did do last time? Okay. So, on the coffee fondant, I think I'm going to put it in this okay. container here. I think that's what we put it in the last time, too. So. Part of it is we're running out of containers. Oh, we got... <laughs> yes. We're running out of space in the refrigerator to put the stuff in, too. What I like to do on that, just to make it give it a little gourmet touch, is um, I have coffee beans. Yeah. Right? I'm going to ground up just a little bit of coffee beans. Oh, I got more, I have more powder, I have more instant stuff that you can use already on the other side. Or you can sprinkle some cocoa on the top. Oh, you know what? I could just sprinkle a cocoa on top, huh? Yeah, you have cocoa, cocoa on the shavings? top. Okay. Cocoa shavings, you got the cocoa over yeah, there. Yeah, then I don't have to do that. Just sprinkle a little bit of the cocoa on the top and it gives you a little bit of stuff. Actually, I think we'll do the cocoa. This one you can do, which is you take the coffee beans and then you grind them up and you just sprinkle them on the yeah. top. And they're actually really great for desserts. Yeah. Okay. But we decided this is coffee fondant. Don't. That's why we're thinking of the coffee. Well, I know, but we gotta mix, I've got to make another, we've got to clean something else up. <laughs> we, we've been really good about not making a mess today. Well, look, you see all our containers. Yeah. <laughs> and really, well, the containers are, the actual containers are moving out as rapidly as you can. And, you know, we did bust up the other peanut cup. In a few minutes, you're going to get to see everything all in one spot at one time, folks, to see exactly what we've done today. So far, nothing is screwed up, which is a... Now, actually, all of these things are really good. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this. See, because along the way, you should see how full the trash can is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, it's butter, trash can. Butter, size margarine, confectioner, sugar. It, it's my mother, like I said, my mother especially in the restaurant business was uh, desserts and pastries. And my mother would always say that when you're making a dessert or a pastry, there's much room for mystery. There see, is. Yeah, well, because things don't always go exactly as they're supposed to. But you know what? There's things that you can do to recover them really quickly. If you don't let it really set, you put it back in the... They put it back. See, she didn't have the advantages of microwaves for a long time, so she had to put so stuff back on the stove. No, but you would put it back on the stove and reheat it. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, because micro, when microwaves came in, you could put a, tw a commercial microwave, you could put a 25-pound chicken in it. They basically cut it back because they were cutting their throat. The same people turning out the microwaves were turning out the ovens. If you can cook a 25-pound turkey in a microwave and a 25-pound ham in a microwave, why would you buy a $400 oven? There was no need of it. Okay, so this one's really easy because all we're doing... Because you're not putting nuts in it, are you? No, so, so well, you just... usually don't put nuts in something like that, would you? Well, you can. You can put a. It's basically, you can put a, a cup of chopped nuts in this if you want it. Also, Ooh. yeah, this the same total same recipe except for the cocoa is gone and we substituted coffee. You put nuts in this one too I like if you want. I like to put nuts. Yeah. How about um, walnuts? Okay, we'll put walnuts because in this one. We're using walnuts, so we're going to change it a little bit. Just put a handful of walnuts or something in it. So. So she's she she, she uh, okay. She's Asian. She, she, she. I was gonna measure it. Okay, I'll put a handful up there. Yeah, she actually reads all the instructions on everything, and I sit there. I actually have manuals. I just they don't tend to go with what we're doing, but I sit there. But coffee and wal the walnuts will go with the coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can cook anything in a microwave. It just depends upon 
whether it's effective to cook in a microwave or not. Sometimes, well, sometimes it's, things aren't. Like when we were looking at the ham today. Yeah. You know. The ham was no bigger than the chicken we cooked, but the chicken cooked in uh, considerably less time than the oh, ham. Oh, you mean than the turkey? The turkey. The turkey, I think, took an hour, I think. Which was how much it would take in the microwave. Yeah. No, the turkey took longer to cook in the oven than it did in the microwave. But the ham was going to take two hours to cook. So well, I will tell you that turkey in the microwave was oh, God. It fell up. All the, all oh, the bones came out of it. Lord. Okay. But, anyway, I mixed this thing up enough, and you can sit there and mix it, and it's just like... Yeah, and then we just pour it in, and then this is going to have sat in the refrigerator for an hour or 20 minutes in the um, freezer. We're looking at about, in about a half hour, being able to pull stuff out for people to look at stuff. So this is very rich, folks. Yeah. I mean, it is, if you guys... Well, you, if you thought about what we put in here, a box of confectioner sugar. Yeah. A little bit of milk, a little of it. But it's basically all sugar. It's all sugar. Flavored sugar. It's nothing, okay, we'll put it this way. There is absolutely nothing that we cooked in this menu today that is healthy for you. Uh... Yeah, this is our, this is Christmas. This is Christmas. Sometimes you have to have fun. <laughs> no, in, in the word, my grandmother studied to be a doctor in Ireland, but because she was a woman, then let her become a nurse. But my grandmother said that, well, if you have to give up everything that you enjoy in life, there's no reason to live. So go kill yourself, you bloody fool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this looks really good. This looks better than the last oh. one. But I thought the last one was good. The last one was good. But, you know, I think I like to add a touch of walnuts. Maybe we'll add just a few more Yeah, you can. <laughs> it's just, we, we learn. We, we make improvements. But the first time was an experiment because we, we okay. saw, we thought, oh, hey, you could use the same recipe. Of course, the problem was we, we dallied with the first oh, recipe. I know. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I don't okay. Know. Okay, no sprinkles on the top then, right? Just let the nuts show through. Yeah, I kind of think so. Okay. Because otherwise, yeah. Then we'll come back in about a a I half an hour. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> <laughs> I know. We'll come back in a half an hour. This looks really good. So and you'll find out if I change it again. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I am so excited. Actually, this is all the stuff we've been making today. As you can see, this is of course Christmas ham. And desserts. <laughs> you can't really say this is a meal. So we've got peanut brittle. Oh, fudge. Wait, actually, that's peanut butter fudge. That's peanut butter fudge. Coffee fondant with fondant. walnuts. And this is more fudge. Oh, fudge blocks. Yum. Actually, this is a fudge pie right there with fudge chocolate sprinkles. And actually, this is gourmet chocolate with hearts and sprinkles. And, oh. I can hardly wait. <laughs> See, you can make these at home too. It's actually really, really easy. Most of these ingredients, all of you have already. So tomorrow, when you don't have enough time to go to the store, yeah, or actually can. any day, you don't have enough time to go to the store and you want to make something quick, you can make this actually in your microwave yep. relatively quickly. Now I'll tell you that if you're in a bind and you got to make a dessert, don't have enough time to go to the store. Although a lot of you would say, oh, just go to the store and pick something up. But Most of the stuff is just real quick. The ham took two hours in the oven, though. Yeah, but the fudge, two minutes. Yep. Two minute fudge in the microwave. You can put it in the freezer, 20 minutes, it's done, ready. It's like when you're getting ready. Oh, yes. You too can make it. So, anyway, I can hardly wait to eat all of this. As you can see, um, it really hasn't been touched, of course, except for the ham, which we couldn't resist.